Well, good morning, Briarwood students. I hope you're doing well. I'm just sitting here at my house having a, a wonderful, relaxing morning, enjoying my cup of coffee. Wait, is today Thursday? It's chapel day. I love chapel. Chapel's like everybody's in the house. I gotta go. I can't be late for chapel. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This is like one of the hardest parts of the day to actually go to your closet and to try to figure out what I'm gonna wear. I don't know if you all experience this, but, but this is like hard stuff. Always such a tough decision, but we gotta go in. I can't be late for chapel. Oh my goodness. Look at all these choices. But I gotta go. I think today we gotta go with the Briarwood hoodie. In a brief moment of daily affirmation, Dr. Brower. Yeah, I just call myself that, and that was a little weird. But you are looking mighty fine in that Briarwood hoodie. Let's go to chapel. Well, finally heading out the door, and woohoo! It's chapel day. I can't wait to head to chapel. I mean, it is a really unique thing that we get to do, to have all the students and all the teachers gathered together at the same time. I mean, it's better than like a family Thanksgiving or Christmas feast, because we get to gather united for one purpose, to worship God to bring glory to God, to figure out what is it that he wants us to learn as is revealed to us from his word. I think God has a lesson for us today. Can't wait to see you in chapel. See you soon. Well, I got to school on time, but it seems so quiet around here. Where is everybody? Oh wait, am I late? Maybe that's why it's so quiet. They're already in there started without me. I hate being late to chapel. I've been looking forward to this all morning. I'm gonna have to go walk past everybody to get up to my seat because I hang out with the seniors up front. I made it, at least I'm not late. What? Nobody's here. Oh, I get it, I'm early. I like being early to things. Well, if you're still with me, I got you here in chapel and that's an awful good place to be. So without further ado, why don't you put your hands together and welcome our speaker for today, Principal Dr. Sean Brower. Good morning, Briarwood students. I believe that the picture behind me tells quite a story. You see, what's missing in this picture is you. Every single last one of you is missing. How we long to see you in our building, to be, to be walking in the hallways, in the classrooms, on the athletic fields, on the stage, and this morning, here in chapel with me. And seniors, I can't tell you how we long to see you, how our hearts are heavy because you're not here during your senior year. And I get it. I have a senior high school son and a senior college son, and I feel, I feel that loss. And you know, every time you turn on the TV or the news, uh, you're reading something or listening to the radio, we hear one story after another that's depressing. The statistics aren't getting better, they're getting worse. But today, I want to give you a message of hope. And I want to give you a challenge because I believe every single one of you have it in you to take up this challenge. Because after all, you're Briarwood Lions. And Briarwood Lions are fighters. We don't stop and we don't quit. So here it is. All right, students, there's three parts to my challenge. And here's the first one. It's very simple. I'm going to preface it with, you've heard this all your life if you've been part of athletics. Very simple. Pick your head up. Pick your head up. You know, Hebrews 12, 11 says this. Lift your drooping hands and strengthen your weak knees and make straight the path for your feet. You know, my last letter, I had mentioned it's not a proper response to be raising our fist and, and shaking our fist at God and saying, why is this happening? But it's okay to grieve. And it's okay to mourn because there's reason for it. Because there has been loss. Right now, you're feeling a loss of community. I'm feeling a loss that I'm in this big open building by myself. There's a loss of connectedness. The loss of us just being together. But as a psalmist says, I lift up my eyes from where my help comes. I lift up my eyes to the Lord. But you can't see where you're going, and you can't see or do the next one if you don't get your head up. So get your head up. All right, now that you got your heads up, here's number two. Hold your hands out. Hold your hands out because God's got something for you specifically during this moment. 
It is a moment. It's a moment in time. Now, you might be thinking, well, he's got something for the president or for officials or, or big leaders, but I don't know what he's got for me. Well, of course you can't see it coming if you got your head down, your arms droopy. So put your hands out. God made you, designed you very specifically and very uniquely. Now, you might ask, well, what am I supposed to be looking for? Well, I have no idea what you're supposed to be looking for. Because God's got something for each one of us individually during this time. So pick your head up and put your hands out. All right, here's number three. With hands open, ready to receive what the Lord would have for you to do in this moment. Once you have that, what is that blessing, Lord, that you have for me to do? Then extend your arms outward. That's number three. You see that blessing that God gave you and says, this is what I'm calling you to do right here and right now. This isn't just for you. You see, we're blessed to be a blessing. Luke 6, 38 says this, Give, and it will be given to you a good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over will be poured into your lap. For the measure you use it, it will be measured to you. And Broward students, I know you get this picture because this is where you shine. You love on people and care for people. And the more you give, the more you get. God will take care of you. Now, you have to exercise good judgment. We do not want you to get this virus. But might the mark that we leave on COVID-19 from the Briarwood community be one that we are blessed to be a blessing because the needs are all about us. And there it is. That's my challenge for us today. And students, you got this. I mean, I know this is not the year that you signed up for, but it's the one that's been given to us as an opportunity. And here's what I know. There is no pandemic strong enough to silence the power of Christ in us. Because in all things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us and gave himself for us. So I believe in you. Go Briarwood. Go Lions. And I sure do miss you. Love you. Until we see one another again. I'll sign off. Dr. Brower, chapel's over. And girls, we're still going to dismiss you to lunch first. So if you're at home, ladies eat first. Guys, you got to wait, and then you can clean up the mess as well. Love you all.